Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology. In today's video tutorial, I will show you guys how to set up and configure a file sharing server on your network for a small company. So you just need to follow me. So before we start this video, let me give you a visual representation to help you to understand better. So here is my file server which is Windows 11 main system from where I will share files and folders. Under this uh, machine, I will create two groups. One is group s group underscore s and group underscore n group s s means a uh, special permission and group n which is n means normal permission under group s i will create two user user one and user two and under group n i will create two user which is user three and user four okay so group n have only read permission while group s have read write modify permissions okay also i will share how to share hidden files and folders on your network okay so here is my main windows 11 machine from where i will share files and folders to my network so first i will what i'll do is i will go to my this pc means my computer go under c drive now i will create one folder okay so i'll right click and click on new then click on folder now folder name folder name is uh technology underscore share okay now press enter after create that folder simply you need to right click on your computer uh, start menu icon and click on computer management so here it is as you can see so click on computer management after that you need to expand local user and groups so expand that one now click on user under user you just need to right click and click on new user here you just need to put username so first i will create a two a four user over here which is user one first password one two three and i will check these two options which is user cannot change password and password never expires and one two three okay after that click on create now if i'll close this window as you can see user one is created successfully now through this way i will create user 2 user 3 and user 4 so i'll type user 2 then password user 3 user 4 Now, as you can see, all the user created successfully, user 1, user 2, user 3, and user 4. Now, what I'll do is, I will create our groups. So, for that, I just need to click on groups over here. Now, right click on groups. Now, click on new group. Group name. So, I'll type group underscore s, which I have a special permission. So, I'll click on add under members. Now, I'll type user, user 1 and after that click on check names now as you can see username is selected now i'll type user 2 now again click on check names after that click on ok and as you can see user 1 and user 2 is successfully added over here now if i'll click on create now if i'll close this window now as you can see user s is created successfully now i will create another group which have normal permission which is group underscore n and member click on add now member is user 3 check names and user 4 check names now click on add both the user added over here now click on create and as you can see my both the uh, both the group are created successfully over here now what i have to do is i just need to go to my this pc go under that uh, c drive and here is my share folder which is technology underscore share so what i'll do is i will right click and go to properties simply click on properties and after that click on sharing now click on advanced sharing now click on share this folder now click on permissions now here i will remove everyone and click on add now add i will first i'll um, add uh, group s so I'll type group underscore s. If I'll click 
click on check names as you can see group s is successfully added now i'll click on ok so group s have all the permission means special permission which has modify permission and read and write permissions so i'll check full control okay after that i will add one more groups which is group n which have normal permission and click on check names okay now as you can see group name is added successfully so group name have only uh, read permission so i'll only check read and uncheck this two full control and change and click on apply then okay then click on apply then okay after that go to security just close this window again you just need to click on properties and just click on security now here you just need to click on edit button and click on add now here you just need to type your group name so group s check names now click on ok so group s have all the permission like full control modify read and write ok so after that click on apply another group you have to add is group s group n which have normal permission check names click on ok now here only you have to uncheck these two options which is full control and modify okay you just need to uncheck if it is checked already then you have to uncheck and after that click on apply then okay after that click on okay now i will try to access this uh uh, uh shared folder from my um another machine on my network so first i have to check my computer ip address so if i'll open cmd and type ip config as you can see here is my ip address which is 192.168.227.129 uh, okay so you have to change one more settings which is simply you need to right click on your start menu and click on settings or else you can press windows plus i button together to open settings window now click on network and internet from your left side over here and on your right side click on advanced network settings after that you need to click on advanced sharing settings under private and public network make sure that all the options are checked which is network discovery so in my case it is already checked and file printer sharing and also set up a network connect device automatically so i have checked all these options so after change all these settings i will try to access this share folder from different machine on on my network so two ways you can access that folder on your computer so first method is simply go to your my computer and right click and simply click on add a network location or else click on this three dot button over here and click on map network drive so i'll click on map network drive simply i have to put over here slash slash then ip address of my file sharing server in my case it is 192.168.227.129 okay sorry uh, yes 120 uh, 192 uh, 168 227 129 now i'll click on browse and if i'll expand it will pop up me one username password screen so first i will connect through special uh, groups so special permission groups so i'll type over here user one which have special permission full read and write so i'll press one two three and if i'll try to connect so as you can see this technology share folder is showing now i'll click on ok then click on finish now sharing dive is showing over here now it, i can easily copy paste any files and folder on the, on the c drive so if i'll try to copy any file and folder over here let's see it is working or not so it is successfully working i am able to uh copy uh paste any folder and files i can also delete any files and folders from here let's see it is working or not so it is working now i will connect try to connect uh, from that normal user so i'll directly right click and disconnect I'll click on disconnect and now i'll try to connect through normal groups means normal permission groups so for that i will connect through user 3 or user 4 so i'll simply click on this three dot button click on map network drive then slash slash ip address then click on browse expand 
now here i'll type user 3 okay then password 123 now you can click on ok now here is the share folder i'll click on ok then finish now as you can see i'm under this folder shared drive folder so it will try to delete anything let's see if it is working or not as you can see i'm unable to delete anything over here also if i'll try to uh, copy paste anything so it is not working as you can see because i don't have any permission with this user only i can do is i can view the file and i can copy the file from here to my computer now i'll show you guys how to share hidden files and folders on your network now to share hidden files and folder what you have to do you just need to create one folder on your computer from where you want to share the folder so i'll create a folder new folder under my c drive and file a folder name will be hide okay after that simply right click on that folder and go to properties you can type any name means you can choose any name whatever you want and after that click on sharing after go properties you just need to click on sharing then click on advanced sharing now click on share this folder now here you will see share name so after your share name you just need to add one dollar sign okay over here now click on permissions so you can choose everyone or else you can add those groups over here so i'll add group or user so i'll directly give only user one to that permission to check hidden folder so i'll select here user one and click on check names after that click on ok so as you can see everyone is already selected over here so if you want everyone to access this folder then you can uh don't remove this everyone or else you can remove this one and give the full control to that user and after that click on apply then click on apply then click on security again i will add that user one check names then click on ok and give full control to that user one and click on ok and now i will show you guys how to connect that hidden folder from any of your computer on your network so simply type slash slash and then your ip address of your file share server machine which is in my case 192.168.227.129 okay after that uh, press slash then your hidden folder name which is in my case hide then after that dollar sign and simply copy that command and go to your uh, file explorer and simply click on search box and type that uh, uh, folder location and press enter and as you can see it is showing like username you have to type username and password so user user you have already set user one so i'll type one two three so now as you can see i'm successfully uh connect to that folder so i can create any folder under that uh hide folder and also copy anything from there you can also uh, map that hide folder on your my computer for that simply click on three dot button go to map drive paste that location simply paste that location go to browse and then hide folder click on ok then finish now as you can see hide folder is showing over here so before ending this video i would like to share few quick things with you I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care.